Hi, I'm Stephanie. I'm on a one-week road trip across Croatia and Slovenia with my family. And today we're on a mission to explore three of the most beautiful waterfalls in Croatia within 24 hours. It's way bigger than I thought and not sure if you can actually hear me because it's really loud and beautiful. There's like multiple waterfalls, kind of gorgy looking. And the sun came out for us for a little bit. The weather's been like rainy, gloomy. Rostov feels like stepping into a fairy tale. Waterfalls, wooden bridges, and old water mills. Just 30 kilometers from the world famous national park, many even call this charming town a mini Plitvica. This hidden gem is the perfect prelude to our next spot. The crown jewel of Croatia's waterfalls, Plitvica Lakes National Park. This place is simply stunning. It's as beautiful as it looks online with its 16 terrace lakes and countless waterfalls. Exploring the park feels like wandering through a dream. Every turn reveals another breathtaking view. But like any dream, each moment feels fleeting. Perfect reflection. Wow. Look at this view. Should we get in line? Yes. Taking the boat now. It's only 9.47, one hour. You know if there's bigger waterfalls on the other side? I don't think they're bigger. I think you just get on top of waterfalls. They're not like, they're more like the cascading kind of waterfalls, I think. The biggest one is the one at the entrance. With a constant flow of people following closely behind you, starting the day early is key during busy seasons. Continuing south to another national park, Kirka National Park. I wasn't sure if Kirka was worth the stop, but after doing some research, reaching very inconclusive results, I decided to check it out myself.
The highlight here is Skradinsky Book, a stunning waterfall that is easily accessible for families. The vibe here feels much more laid back, and if you visit at the right time, you're even allowed to swim in the water in certain areas. While you're here, don't miss out on visiting historical sites like the old water mills and hydroelectric plant. These add a fascinating cultural aspect to the park that the previous two don't have. Kurga offers a more relaxed, less crowded experience. If that's what you're after, or if you're driving down to Split, Kurga is definitely worth the visit. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoy this video, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss the next part of our adventure. See you in the next video. Bye!